YouTube. It is your girl India and we are back with another video of Sister Sister. Welcome back. Um, if you are new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, and uh, oh, like and comment. <laughs> Sorry guys, brain fart. Also, if you are returning, hey, how are you guys? I hope you guys had a great day, weekend, whatever, whenever you're watching this. I just hope you're having a blessed and beautiful time. So we're gonna go on with our series last week. If you did not watch that video, make sure you watch the video of when I went over my top five shampoos. This week we're gonna go over my top five deep conditioners. And honestly, what works for me might not work for you. So what I always tell people is to play around with products. Always play around. I had to play around with a ton of products before I found the ones that work right for my hair. And to be honest, you're going to spend a lot of money and you're going to waste a lot. It's going to feel like you're wasting, but you're not. It's really trial and error. And you're figuring out what works best for your hair and your porosity. Just because somebody looks like they have the same texture as you does not mean they have the same porosity as you. And you need to make sure your porosity, or you I mean your products work well with your porosity. If you don't understand hair porosity, make sure you go to like, I think my very first video on this channel. Um, it discusses hair porosity. Go check that video out. And um, and then if you don't know what your texture is, go check out that video as well. I have a video on hair textures as well. Um, all right, I think I talked enough. Let's get into my top five condition, deep conditioners. Deep conditioners, not regular conditioners. Deep, deep conditioners are really, really important. And as natural hair women, or even relaxed hair, you need to uh, deep condition your hair weekly especially natural hair because that the coils and the curls don't hold on to moisture as much as relaxed hair does. So make sure you are deep conditioning your hair weekly. Please, you have 15 to 30 minutes of spare time. You can do it. All right, the very first one is Miel's Hydrating um, Conditioner. Oh my God, I love that deep conditioner. It smells really good. I think this was like hibiscus or something like that. And it's really, really creamy, and um, it's not so thick like most deep conditioners, but it does really well with um, hydrating your hair. And my hair has really good moisture retention with that deep conditioner. The next is the Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask. So I used to, I'm not a big fan of this deep conditioner anymore, but when I, used, when I was transitioning, it really, really, really helped out with my um, my hair moisture. I can say Shea Moisture is a good, a good line for those that either have high porosity, transitioning, or are in that infantry, st infantry stage of naturals, of, of being natural, which is like that first year of you being fully natural is like that infantry st stage. Um, I think those are that's when Shea Moisture is really good. It doesn't really work well for my hair anymore, but at that time when I was using it, that hydrating deep treatment worked wonders on my hair and kept moisture in my hair. The next is my personal favorite, the As I Am Hydration, hydration Elation. Ooh, yeah. I love this deep conditioner. It is my all-time favorite. I love As I Am products anyway. They work wonders on my hair, and this deep conditioner is top five, top three, top two, number one. <laughs> it is my absolute fave, and it's my hair. I re-moisturize my hair, I try to, every morning. But with this, when I use this deep conditioner, I feel like I don't have to, even though I should, but, um, it keeps my hair moist for, moisturized for about a good three days. And that's amazing for one product. Moving on to the fourth, we're gonna do um, the Thank God I'm Natural, the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask. This is an amazing hair mask. It is on the pricier side, but you're gonna, your hair is gonna thank you for using it and um, for just treating yourself. Treat yourself with this hair mask and it tingles but it feels so good and it leaves your hair moisturized. Your curls will bounce back. And I mean bounce. My hair has never bounced like that when I, until I use this hair mask. It's really, really good. And last but not least, 
we're gonna go to the on jackie's fix my hair intensive repair mask i actually used to use this when i was um relaxed and um i loved it and i used it even when i was transitioning and i haven't used it again i don't know why I don't know why I went to other products because it worked for my hair. I wonder if it will work for me now that I'm like full, fully natural and I'm not relaxed or um, transitioning or, you know, that baby stage of natural hair. I wonder, I want to try it again, but when I was using this, I loved this. It made my relaxed hair feel good because even when I was relaxed, I used to do deep conditioners at least um, twice a month. So this was really, really good on my hair and it made my hair smell good, feel good, and become really, really soft. So I wanna know in the comments, what are your top five deep conditioners? And do you deep condition regularly? Or are you that type of person that doesn't? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day. And let me know, like I said in the comments, what is your favorite deep conditioner? Make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get notified every time that me and my sister post. And you guys have a beautiful and blessed day. I love you all. Bye.